So we got the seal in there and looking at the paperwork I saw that they said the crankcase is filling with gas so um, this will probably get a, re a replacement carburetor but since it's right here and it's out on the bench I'm going to just take it apart and see what's what. Take the bowl nut off, look in the bowl, yeah it's pretty dirty, it's got a bunch of shit in there, you can see it's muddy in here, I don't know, it's it's dirty, I don't know how, when the last time this thing was used but if you take the uh, float hinge pin out should be able to pull this needle valve right here and see if the tips broke off, if we need to replace the carburetor or what. All good. Mm. Kind of hard to see, but uh, if you get right up in there, you can kind of see that the outside of the needle valve is corroded. The tip seems to be in pretty good shape. But, no, it doesn't. I don't know if you can see the groove on that tip, but that needle valve has definitely got a major groove in it, and that's going to make it leak gas right through there. Fill the crankcase full of gas, and then uh, she starts to chugging and a puffing and a huffing, and that's it. you got to replace the carburetor, or you may be able to get this needle valve. Now, um, this one, you go off the model and the spec number, and uh, that's going to be on a little gray tag on the side of the motor, which is right here. Yeah, there's the tag. Thanks, whoever cleaned it with the pressure washer. So, I'll have to do the back door, look up, uh, figure out another one, see if I can find this needle valve. Uh, this one's on a budget, and also because of that rock being in the governor arm, I'm not really sure that this thing's gonna stay together for very long. Who knows how fast this thing was rolling, so. Uh, it's not mine, gotta give it back, guy's hot for it, so we're gonna see if I can find a needle valve and uh, just quick get the car back on, let this thing go back into service. It's not long for this world anyway. Uh, also, if you do have one of these apart, I don't know if you can quite make this out, but in here, there's a bunch of wadded up grass and mud and stuff. That's right in the uh, cooling fence, so take your air compressor and blow all this shit out of here real good if you got it in the shop. Don't take these off and not put them back on though because they flow air over the fins. And uh, if you take them off, it's not going to cool properly either. So, there you go.